I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions on probability. This is from our review on probability. Question here is, a rectangular backyard is to be enclosed with 18 meters of fencing. The length of the backyard is to be an integer length and is to be chosen randomly. What is the expected area of the backyard? So that's the question for you. Now, uh, okay, so let's begin by making a simple sketch here. We are saying that length is L and W is the width for us. It is to be enclosed with 18 meters of fencing. That means uh, perimeter is equals to twice length plus width which is 18, right? So 18 equals to twice length plus width, or we can say length plus width is nine. Is it okay? Now it says the length of the backyard is to be an integer, right? So what we will do here is length could take some values which are one to eight, right? So those are the eight values which length can take. So we'll make a table, okay? So in this table, we'll make a column for length, Possible values for length are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, correct? So those are the values for length. And the sum with width is, is, so I'll make another column here also where I'll write width. That will help me to find the area, right? So if length is 1, width should be 8 because the sum is 9, right? So this will be like 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we get width, right? Okay. Now in this particular case, each value of length is kind of unique, right? It's 1, 1. So total probability is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1 over 8 is the probability for each, right? Correct? So 1 over 8 is the probability of each. So if you want to write, you can say probability for L is actually 1 over 8 for all, right? 1 over 8. Okay. So L could take only 8 numbers out of which each one could be just 1, right? Now let's look into the question once again. It says length of the backyard is to be an integer length and is to chosen randomly. What is the expected area of the backyard? So we are looking for expected area of the backyard. Now, expected area, you could also treat as average area, right? So expected area. Let's treat this as average area. That is both are same thing, right? So average area. So well, rather, with probability, we could actually multiply, add, and then find the mean. We could do that. Now, what we will do here is kind of slightly different. Okay. So, what I'll do here is create a column for area now. So, area, which is length times width. So, if I multiply 1 times 8, I get the area, which will be 8 in this case. And since it is meters, the units will be meters square. All these units are in meters. Okay for length and width, area in meter square. So 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 5 is 20, 5 times 4, so they repeat, right? 6 times 3, 18, 7 times 2, 14, 8 times 1, 8. Is it okay? So those are the expected areas. Now one way which is, which I think is simpler is average area we, look, we are looking into. So you can add them all and divide by eight, right? Those, those are eight areas. Or you could add four of them, divide by four, one and the same thing, right? So, so we'll add four of them. So what we'll do is we'll add these four and divide by four. They're, they're repeating, right? Is it okay? So eight plus 14 plus 18 plus 20 divided by four gives us the average. Is that okay? So we'll do eight plus 14 plus 18 plus 20 equals to 
and divide by 4 equals to 15. So we get 15 units are meter square. Is that okay? So that is how we will find it. So we say, well, our answer is that average area is 15 meter square. Average area is the expected area. So this is a concept. So if you use that concept, it's kind of straightforward. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.